So today we're gonna to be doing a D style character, as I like to call it, a profile old school character for you guys to see, to learn a little bit about uh, foundation, the foundation, the base of what you're gonna be doing. Uh, also, uh, we got some hit offs, so let's just jump right into it. See you guys in a second. All right guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this hit off. It is massive, dudes. It is a massive order. Uh, we're looking at probably, oh God, probably like 240 cans at least in these boxes right here. I wish I could have got them out on the table actually. That would have been super dope. Um, but you know, like everything, it's always last minute for me over here. Uh, but let's take a look at at least some of the markers and stuff that this guy got. This is for Tommy, by the way. I think Tommy is about to go to town. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Look at this free pack, this little free pack right here. Comes with a little mini sketchbook in there. Uh, I think this is the AP Mop Pack, Hit and Goes, a bunch of empty markers, a bunch of caps. Uh, quite, quite the assortment of markers here. You know, I think we need to do a bullet review. We've been talking about that, haven't we? I think we have. What else is in here? What else is in here? Uh, a bunch of ink. Whole bunch of inks. Looks like a bunch of soul tip paint. Uh, let's see, more soul tip paint. Oh, some iron lac ink. We got those at a really low price right now. Look at that. What else is in here? Whoa! Watch out, boy. Watch out. All right, so it looks like it's an assortment of flame blue. Uh, I see some Montana black. Oh, yeah, look at these. It's collector cans. Those are so dope. Oh, man, I really like those. Those are so sick. Uh, lots of good stuff. Lots of really good stuff in here. Uh, I think Tommy will be very happy with his order. Uh, he is about to get loose. He's about to get loose. Uh, shout out to them rough blacks, by the way. Those are very, very nice. Bitumen. 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 All right, so let's go ahead and get this all sealed up. Uh, let's get him some slaps. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, we'll hit off the box. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit up Tommy's box. I made this really, really dope green because I'm green, baby. That's what I am. Look at that, beautiful. This is mixing uh, regular green magic ink with the Texta. That's all it is. That's all I got going on here. Um, <laughs> it works so good. It works so good. All right. Do rain jaw. Like a Rastafarian. Rain jaw. Rain jaw. <laughs> oh, we gotta hit up Big Tommy. Big Toms. Big Tom. Big Tom. There we go. There we go. Big Tom in the house. Oh, and a little stay up. That's right, we gotta give that little encouragement to the homies to stay up in whatever endeavor that makes you clever. That's right, that's right. Oh man, what a great combo, man. That green with that white. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a Rasta green, baby. It's like a Rasta green. All right, so let's do some slaps. Speaking of jaw, we got some jaw one action right there. Look at that, that is beautiful. Look at that, he put in a lot of work on that one. That's really nice. Oh, the homie Jolts. What up Jolts, how you doing? I got an unboxing from Jolts that you would not believe coming very soon. Coming very, very soon. Uh, what is this, Beta 7-7. Ooh, that's sick, I like that little character. Oh, never forget 420. Never forget it. What time is it? I don't remember, I know. Ooh, Sec Fink, look at that, Sec Fink. This dude's getting all kinds of slaps because he put in a huge order. You put in a big order, so we're gonna give him a bunch of slaps. Some Kempst, uh, let's see, Rabbit Boys CBS. Uh, what is this, MRSA, uh, Time for Bed. It is time for bed. Did I, did I already? Ah, oh, you guys got two of those. Oh, check it out, little uh, Alien Workshop, I like that. Oh, Hello World, what up? Hello World, how you doing out there, how you doing? All right, what's up, Sophie? Sophie in the game, big Sophie. Oh, snap, a hand-drawn Bates slap. Look at that, will you look at that? Hand-drawn bait slap, going in that order. Lucky, lucky guy. All right, the Matt Crew, what up Matt Crew? On one, that's pretty dope. Ooh, yeah, Conquer. 
big gunker in the house. And what is this? What is this? This dude's getting, I'm just gonna hook it up. I'm just gonna hook it up. The more you buy, the more you get. That's the way I like to do it, right? Trub, Trubsky, ooh, that is, that's old school and that is beautiful and that is right up my alley. That, la, 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 la. Right up my alley, Trubsky, right up my alley. I like those quite a bit. Uh, bugs, IVC, and back to jaw. So there you go, nice, fat stack of slaps because the homie put it in. He got it in with us and I really appreciate your support, homie, because when you buy these orders, it helps us finance this whole operation so I can get my teeth fixed. <laughs> We need it. We need it, man. Uh, you got to make a living, homie, and I, I enjoy what I do. I definitely do. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and close this up and uh, get this bad boy out of here. See you guys in a second. Guys, you know, there's nothing I love more than hitting that box. You know what I'm saying? Nothing I love more than hitting that box. And I want to say thank you very much for your support because you know what? I would not be here. We would not be here without your support. So thank you very much, guys. Those orders really go the distance. Now, a lot of you saw that really cool color on the hit off, right? How would you do that yourself? Good question. Let's do it right now. All right, guys, all you need to get started with this tutorial is one text marker, one bottle of magic ink and one barbecue skewer. You could also use a chopstick, but these are a little bit thinner. So I think we'll have better luck with this. In fact, I know we will because you can see it's green just like the other one. And uh, these come with the T-style nibs, but a little bird told me that we might be getting replacement T-style nibs very soon. So I'm very happy about that. Now, these are a screwed on valve, but I would not even bother trying to take the valve off because I'd say about 50% of them are glued on and you have no way of knowing which ones are glued and which ones aren't. And that glue is tough. You'll actually break the valve before you remove the glue. Ask me how I know. To be honest with you, it works the same with the uni. I know you can take them apart, uh, but if you're uncomfortable removing the valve, don't even bother doing it. You can just put a stick in there and fill it up and you are good to go. So let's start with our bottle of magic ink. And of course we got Violetta, you guys' favorite color, purple the world. Purple, purple, purple. All right, guys, first let's go ahead and open our bottle of magic ink. And these are the new ones, by the way. They have, and they're already open. You don't have to pierce the hole. So that's easy. And then next you're gonna go like this. And oh, if you noticed, I did not prime the nib. I'm starting with a fresh nib here. Brand new, unused nib. Okay, so I've squeezed it probably, I don't know, 12 times, something like that, 12 times. Also, if you start to get it to flood, uh, just actuate the nib a little bit. I'm sorry, actuate the valve and uh, it'll flow right back down in there. Okay, beautiful. Let me just add a little bit more just for the heck of it. You know, why not? If you lose your balance, this thing will come shooting out and uh, well, like I said, don't do this in your mom's couch. What the fuck, are you in danger? Uh, okay. So we got a fair amount of purple in there, enough that I think I'm happy with. So go ahead and put the nib back on that bad boy. Set your magic ink aside. And remember, you can use any old color, it doesn't matter. Any old color will work just fine. All right, so first, what you wanna do is shake it up. A few pumps, it's all it needs. Oh yeah, look at that already starting to come through. Oh man, that's a, that's a really nice shade. Wow, look at that. Now that the paint's gone through, whew, that is really, really nice. Look at that. Tasty. It's like icy grape. Mm. Oh, I like that quite a bit. Uh, yes, I do. Whew. Let's try it out. Let's hit up the homie Lyser. Lyser 25. If you're really into Gundams and graffiti, definitely give my homie Lyser a follow. He is the dude. Uh, Rico. Homie Rico, Rico Suave. 
Rico Suave. All right, guys, as you can see, this color combo is the bee's knees. I almost said bananas, and then I said bee's knees at the same time. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Let's hit off the homie Bowser. That's a cool name. I wonder if you got it from Mario Brothers. He must have. Classic game right there. Bowser. Bowser. I like that a lot. That's a really good name. Bowser. Wow, I wish I would have thought of that one. Big ups to Bowser. Man, that purple. That perp is blinging. Bling. All right, let's hit off the homie Caleb. He follows me in my feed. The homie Caleb. What's up, Caleb? How you doing, homie? All right, all right, all right. What's up? Uh, let's see. Oh, Polly Chunks. I like that. Polly Chunks. That's such a funny name. <laughs> Polly Chunks. You guys have the funniest Instagram names. Uh, horny for Latinos. <laughs> I don't think I have enough room anyways. Oh man. That's his real Instagram account. <laughs> horny for Latinas. I guess he is. I guess he is. Superb taste, my man. Let's get up nice and close here. Look at that color. Oh man, that is gorgeous. Just a little bit of white magic ink, a little bit of purple, and you got yourself a blinging, blinging shape. All right guys, that's it for this portion of the tutorial. Hopefully it helped you get a better idea of how these work, how to fill them, and maybe it gave you a little creative inspiration on what to do next. Anyways, we are going to move forward with this video. Up next is Painting with GR. The series is back, my friends, because you know what? You guys like it, so I'm just gonna roll with it, baby. See you guys in a second. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Painting with GR. Today we're doing a D character. Very simple technique. All you need to do is paint a square and a trapezoid type shape. Uh, obviously you can tweak it to your own taste to do whatever it is you need to do but just remember on top you have a square and on the bottom you have your trapezoid uh, in between the two will be the line delineating the, the nose the ear and obviously the mouth would be below and the eye would be above that line so go ahead and draw your two shapes and build your face from that and then you can fill it in and do your character it's easy as pie even GR can do this and I know you can do better. You can, I have faith in you. All right, so now you're gonna draw the eye and uh, this guy's gonna be very, very hip hop and uh, you know, a, a burly street type. He's very aggressive, uh, but you know, that's the look that you would want to have when you're doing one of these. Now go ahead and draw the hat and don't forget those little loops uh, that go around to give the hat depth. Definitely very important. Now that hat's a little on the small side and uh, well, maybe we'll make a little bit of adjustments there. Anyways, go ahead and fill it in with your favorite color. And I'm using Cappuccino in Montana Gold. The outline color is uh, Concrete, which is a very great replacement for black because sometimes black is just a little too dark for the characters, a little too contrasty. Uh, but a nice dark shade like Concrete or Chocolate, something like that, gives you that depth, but also in a way, it kind of uh, stands out a little bit more, I think. It's very, very nice. So go ahead and work the cappuccino over. And I gotta tell you, cappuccino is one of my favorite skin tones because it can fit so many different people from all over the world. The rainbow of the world. All right, now let's go ahead and do that hat. Wow, ooh, almost fell over right there. Wow, look at that purple, look at that go. This is sweet dreams. And uh, I'm using a Oh, what is this? I think this is a level six, actually. This is a level six cap. Man, that Sweet Dreams is such a beautiful color. It lays down so beautifully. And as you can see, we made the hat just a little bit bigger because 
you got to have those extended uh, distorted features on your b-boy characters if, if they're not out of proportion then well it needs to be proportionate but out of proportion that's the only way I can describe it you'll see as you go now let's go ahead and start lacing in his shirt and I'm using a color what, what color is this Oh, Horizon. This is Horizon. It's a very nice shade. It reminds me a lot of, of like, like a shock color. One of those... Actually, does Montana use shock colors? I think they use uh, power colors. It looks like a power color. Uh, a power blue, if you will, but a little bit on the light side. Very vibrant. Uh, very, very, very thick paint as well. So anyways, we got the character in. Let's do our outline. Now, if you noticed, I did do the dark color first and then filled it in with the light color. If you're doing it on a dark wall, you might want to use the light shade first. It just kind of depends on the wall. I will tell you this, if you get into photorealistic work, you'll find a lot of those guys uh, and gals tend to fill in with a dark color first and then work their way to the lighter colors. Uh, obviously, as you go in the middle, you might vary that, but that tends to be the rule of thumb. So if you can learn how to paint dark to light, uh, it might help you uh, get better depth and dimension in your characters. And as you can see, I did a little bit of dusteroo, a little dusteroo on this guy, so look out for that. A little bit under the nose, a little bit under the chin, uh, a little bit on the eye. Just gives it a little bit of depth. And, you know, working from dark to light, you can do that. Ah, and there he is. Uh, a very, um, how should we say this? Uh, a very uh, aggressive young man. <laughs> All right, so I think we have our wall. It's ready to go, and uh, why don't we go out to the closeout? See you guys later. Segment. I gotta tell you, um, it's something special. It really is. Anyways, before we get out of here, let's do a couple quick uh, updates, and then we'll head out, get started on the next video, and um, we'll see where we go next. Anyways, First of all, I gotta tell you guys, I've been watching your Art Primo unboxing videos on YouTube. They are pretty tight. So I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, why not integrate it into these videos? Give people a little bit of shine. See what, you know, give people an opportunity to see a, an unbiased uh, review of what we're doing and, uh, you know, have a little fun with everyone. And you know, it kind of creates the community. You know what I'm saying? So um, why don't you do this? If you have a channel where you're doing unboxing videos, Art Primo stuff, obviously. Um, <laughs> it has to be Art Primo stuff. Um, shoot us an email, artprimo.com at gmail.com, artprimo.com at gmail.com. That's correct. There are two dot coms, artprimo.com at gmail.com. I'm sure you can remember that one. Um, send us your unboxing video. Maybe you'll get featured on the channel. Also, if you do want your order hit off, be sure to send your email to that. You know, I was talking a little bit about the forums and the Instagram stories today on the at Art Primo Instagram and, um, a lot of people had expressed interest in bringing back the forums, which I think is dope because, well, you know, it gets us away from the centralized providers of this type of stuff. You know what I mean? So we still have the artprimo.com forward slash forums URL active, um, but it got overran by Russian bots, Chinese bots. So we're probably going to need some help, um, moderators and stuff like that gonna be a bit of a long-term project. Um, but you know, if you're interested in working with us on that, I definitely appreciate the support. And I'd like to create another online community for graffiti people to communicate, uh, disseminate ideas, projects, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, a place where people can be free. A graffiti safe space. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Good times, good people. Art Prima forums good times. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your support. This is artprimo.com, 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 your number one source for all things graffiti related. If you have any questions, shoot us a call, 206-365-4083, 206-365-4083. artprimo.com, your number one source for all things.